Coach, you got three guys on that relay tonight. How, what does that mean for you as a coach and for Texas as a program? Well, we had four in the event, which was special in itself. And to get there, they all had to race well, compete hard, so that's what they did. This is a, there are a lot of people that are fast, but you get to this level and it's just hard to do. And they stood up and did it when they had to do it. It's tough to do. I could never have done it. On an individual level, talent, the year that he's had with the NCAAs, the world record, and now he's, he's an American champion of the Junior Victory. How special is it for you to see such a young swimmer with so much success? Tally is a hard worker in practice every day. He's the only swimmer I've got that never gave up on trying to beat Clark Smith hmm. in a workout. And I don't know if anybody can do that. But Townley never gave up. He kept trying, and it, it, it paid off. Talking about Clark Smith, he's most likely in the Olympics for that top six finish. His mom was in the Olympics. How special is is that family? What having a, a mother son duo both competing for the for America's Olympics? Clark's come a long way. He's done a great job, and to get this, he's worked hard at everything to get the strength to. Go that fast in a 200 for a body that big is, you've got to be a hard worker. And that's not his opinion. Does his lineage with his mom, do you think that helps him be such a good swimmer, such a competitive swimmer? Well, his dad swam for me and was an All American for us. So he's got it going all up and down the, the family tree. And, and one more about, about that race. How exciting was I mean, County at one point was in third place. He comes back with an incredible finish. He said it wasn't, he didn't feel like it was a good finish. Like, well, how exciting was it watching that race? Well, we, you know, you watch it on, we watch it from the back. And you watch it on TV, and you can see the movement, either moving up or moving back. And Townley and Jack were moving up. So that's the best way to be at the end of that race. What kind of pride do you have when you see something like that? All your guys, but especially just the way he finished and what it means to him. Well, I know what kind of work they've been through. And we're in a real tough sport because if you're at this level, everybody works hard, everybody's talented. So, so to win or make an Olympic team in this sport is almost impossible. So when you do it, they don't think much of it now. Maybe in 10 years it'll hit them how difficult it was. But uh, it's quite an accomplishment. Coach, after Clark's rough NCAAs, what does it say about him that he managed to come back and, and really perform so well here in the 400 where he had a great swim and then, um, and then here making the team in the two? I was worried after his 400, but he approached the 200 just with a smile and went for it. We all laughed when Clark walked through the, the little kids on the way to the block because he was slapping hands and even smiling. And that does mean he's come a long way. Yeah. What does it say about, about these guys' coach to put so many guys in there with the <laughs> one race? Um, got a lot of good help. Chris Kubik, who's been my assistant for the last 112 years. And Wyatt Collins, who's our volunteer assistant, is truly an exceptional coach. So we've got it going for us everywhere.